Welcome back, welcome back to episode number 8 of Building and Beyond Skyblock Multiplayer Edition. How are you guys doing? So where we last left off, went down too far, uh, we had our farm going. As you can see, it's progressing nicely. I've got melons producing pretty quickly and I've got actually what I did was I made a conversion so originally I had my plan was to plant all this wheat but I did get a potato from a, a zombie and they give you a much faster return on your investment as far as land goes and you know with skyblock being very uh, resource light in other words, uh, with dirt being such a high commodity, you, know, you want to get the most bang for your buck in terms of space. So most of this, I believe I have just a couple wheat left in here just so that I can get one uh, producing out. But I'm getting quite a bit of potatoes, so I'm, I'm looking to possibly make a switch. Uh, or I may just keep the potatoes and sell those instead of switching. Um, and what you see in front of me, I will go over very soon. So yeah, this is my stock. I've, I've got almost a full uh, section of melon done, uh, and everything else is coming along really nicely. So uh, let's keep moving on. Uh, my wood farm, I actually put a roof on it, kind of. Uh, and the reason for this is I, I wanted to stop getting the... Uh, I want to stop getting the huge trees, and it, they just take way too much time, and, you know, there's a lot of risk involved in those, because if they're hanging over the edge, then uh, you can sometimes fall off, and that's no good. Because uh, falling off clearly means certain death. So, you know, and with it, uh, you know, maintained at this size, with this roof, uh, you actually get almost a faster return as far as your uh, wood goes because you can chop it down quicker so that means you can uh, you can put it right back up um, so I will hold off on that uh, and you know the I expanded the pumpkin farm to three uh, which is going pretty well so let's take a look yeah we're up to 21 and I added this wondering, this is my mob farm. And so I originally stated that I was just going to build, um, you know, a basic one. Okay. Give me your orbs uh, and your stuff. There's a little bit of lag on the server today. I don't know if it's because there's 30 some odd people. Uh, but yeah. So, so yeah, I originally was going to say that I was going to do a a basic, um, just kind of a mini fall trap, um, which you can kind of see in the cobblestone up there, um, where it was supposed to be two rows, and then between it's supposed to be a big hole um, with signs so that the uh, monsters fall off. But I think they may have fixed uh, that. Uh, so I broke down, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to build a regular mob trap. And it's turned out well. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I've gotten, you know what that's doing there. You. I've gotten really good rates, and the reason being for this being so good is because a mob trap like this is nice. Um, you need to have darkness, and so that actually has a roof on it. And I'll go into um, how that's put together with you guys on, on screen. Uh, I'm going to grab some some supplies and head up there. So, um, so let's take that. Uh, might as well. So yeah, being that this is a sky block, uh, the real benefit is that you don't have to worry about um, miscellaneous um, dark spots anywhere because the only thing you have is what you built uh, and then void. So and void doesn't count as darkness. So because well nothing can spawn there. So uh, the beauty of this is you get really good rates with even just a small, um, this is one tier, so, um, 
you know, as I build more levels, the rates are going to just go through the roof, which is really exciting. Oh, this is scary. There we go. And you have to be careful because I did light it up a little bit out here, but uh, you just don't know what's going to happen, you know, what's going to spawn up here. Okay, so... Here we go. Alright, so this is your basic, uh, this is my basic shape for my spawning, or my mob trap. Um, and what it consists of is it consists of paths for, um, for monsters to spawn on. And then they fall off the edges because they tend to walk into water flows that then bring it to the center location, um, which is signified by that. Um, and then from there, they fall all the way down to the depth, which is exciting. Now, as far as what it is right now, currently it's an XP farm, and that's because uh, I placed it lower than the death threshold. Now, I think I may have been three spaces too low. Uh, oh, did I do it that way? I don't even remember. No, no, no. I'm going to change this up. Now, what I'm doing isn't necessary. You can use just about any spawnable block. Uh, so wood is technically fine, but just for aesthetics and so that I can um, kind of signify. Ooh, yeah, I need three, not four. Come on. You know how to do this. All right. So yeah, what it consists of. These paths of nine um, will be a spawning pad. Now, they ha I like to put them um, two levels above the water and... The reason is so, you know, when a mob comes, they're going to spawn, boom, right here, okay, because what I'm going to do in the next level up, and actually I'll just show you, is you place a, you place a, uh, half splat right here, and what that does is, one, it prevents spiders from spawning here, and two, what it does is, you know, these monsters, when there's a roof, they're not going to, I don't want to do that. They're not going to be able to move across this uh, because it's only going to be too high. So they're only going to have a couple options. They're either going to be able to move this way, and if they're really lucky, stay on top of this platform. But most likely, more likely than not, they're going to fall over here, and there's going to be a water flow that's going to slowly bring them to here, where they fall to their death, um, which is really nice. So, again, you know, the beauty of it right now is that because there's no dark spots to worry about, this is ultra, you know, almost perfectly efficient um, while I'm down there. So, what am I doing? Alright, come back down here, and I just have to be careful because, again, even though it's ultra efficient, there is potential for mobs to spawn, so... Let's get some half slabs. No, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Six, twelve. That's good. Okay, so basic formation, and then again, half slab is gonna go right there. So in in total, in each level, there's there is uh, twelve spawn pads. Um, so multiply that by the amount of levels, and there's um, each has a chance to spawn various amounts of mobs, depending on obviously chance, because mob spawning is in theory random. So I think that, I mean, even by just adding uh, this extra level, you know, essentially my rates should
double from what they were. Um, now there are clearly less chances for them to spawn um, based off of, you know, it all depends on how many spawn and how quickly they can get out of the spawn zone. Uh, so the the race should be good. Uh, all in all. Okay, so this is your basic shape. Again, you've got four in the middle, uh, and then you've got two in the edges, and then um, all that will be wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be... I'm going to finish this off camera so that you can see what it completely looks like, and then we'll work from there. Uh, we'll move on, and you can see how the walls are constructed and uh, the height and all that. Okay, so I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is what the spawn pads now look like. So I've got the two layers, the base, number two, and then I've got, on top of that, I've got a half slab cap in the middle like I, I was mentioning. All right, so the next step in building one of these mob traps is, of course, the movement. Uh, the watering um, is the most important part for here. I mean, obviously, you get the spawning here. In order to get them there, you need to have uh, source blocks placed. So you get one, um, one further out here, and if you look here, it pushes it just to the edge. Okay, so if I break this block, um, anything that comes down will be able to fall straight down into that uh, hole. So, uh, it requires a watcher block All right. in each one of the ends as well as um, each one of the corners. So, each one of these will also need it. Uh, so if they fall off in this way, they'll be pushed over here, and then the water doesn't disrupt. Um, it just goes down that way, which is really nice. Uh, and the water is really the biggest, um, the biggest variable when you're creating uh, mob farms like this. Uh, and you know this size is really the sweet spot um, as far as the way water can flow. So if you were to um, try to go out a little bit bigger. Uh, what you would need to do is you need to have um, different water locations possibly on every third. Um, but then you ha you run into the risk of um, having issues with the way the uh, water backflows. I didn't want to do that. It's here. That one. And because sometimes if you don't do it exactly right, um, then you'll get water you know, that not only flows this way, but then it stops flowing in this direction, but then, you know, kind of flows in both directions, and then, and then you lose. <laughs> it, it doesn't work that way. So, um, in my general opinion, it's almost better to have um, something like this with 12 pads, which is decently efficient, um, especially for the amount of space it takes up. Um, I would rather have 12 spawning pads like this, um, and then stack them vertically. Uh, so I think we're right now we are at level 74. And so with the cap of 256, um, you divide that cap by, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So um, a setup like this takes up five blocks. I mean, you can have a humongous uh, a humongous tower um, for mob spawning, which uh, in turn, again, you know, being this is a sky block will be extremely efficient. So, almost done. Yeah, I mean, this part, it, it's tricky when you, especially in sky block, uh, you know, things just take longer. Uh, and the biggest reason is, you know, if this was a normal Minecraft world, I'd be able to utilize as much metal as I want. <laughs> um, you know, anything that I find, I could create multiple buckets. You know, I, heck, I could make eight buckets and have this done in two seconds. But, um, you know, with Skyblock, you, 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 the only way I currently get metal, um, and eventually I'll be creating a golden farm, and that will be able to be... That will give me, you know, essentially iron freedom. Um, you know, once I get to that point, then, you know, things things will move along. You know, it's, it, this kind of water stuff just 
it takes forever. So, so I think I have one more block to place, and then we can kind of step back and take a look at, um, again, how it works. And, you know, another benefit to a system like this is that it uses zero redstone. Uh, so anybody who is looking to get a mob farm, regardless of whether it's in a sky block or, you know, just at home, you know, this system uh, is extremely cheap and easy. You know, like you only need, uh, now I'm using, you know, cobblestone and wood um, just because it makes it easier on me to organize, you know, where I am and what I need to do. Um, but you just need one block, and as long as monsters can spawn on it, which is pretty much everything except for, um, you know, certain half slabs and glass blocks and things like that, uh, then you're pretty much good to go. So, um, that's this, uh, and this is pretty much good. You know, I, uh, it's always good to double check, um, you know, make sure that all the water is flowing in the right direction, which currently it is. Um, and then from here, what you guys gotta, gotta do is we just have to, um, is that right? No, it's not. It doesn't need to be that far. Uh, no, I didn't want that. It only needs to be there. Alright. So yeah, so from here all you do is you build the walls up all the way around, um, and then just again leave enough space for two, and then when the mobs you know, once you have it fully covered and you knock out all the torches, then, you know, you're good to go. There, There's nothing else. Mobs will s instantly start spawning as long as you're 25 blocks away, which we will be when we're down at the bottom base. Uh, and uh, you just reap the benefits. So I will I will be right back. And at the end, we w I will show you that it's complete and the new and improved rates that we will be getting. So... See you in a second. Bye. Alright guys, and we're back. So, I just finished off the top here. And, as you can see, I've marked the center, which is important. Uh, that way you know exactly where to build out uh, for the next level. And everything is looking good. So, up here is lit up for the most part. So, this place may be a little bit dangerous until I can get some more torches up at the top. Um, but... Let's take a look. So, as I go down now, the important thing to remember is that you must be 20, I think, 23 blocks away or something like that before mobs can, can actually start showing up. So, we are going to take a step back. And again, another thing too is uh, this tower is really ugly. <laughs> so, I can assure you that, you know, once I get to this thing to the point where it's, you know, just pumping out resources more than I can sell, um, you know, I'm going to go back and, you know, do my best to find a good scheme that makes this as pretty as possible. So, you know, that's going to be further down the road uh, when I have more money to get good resources. But I, I see a lot of um, smooth stone brick in my future. So, so yeah, now I wanted to get your guys' opinion on you. Um, so I started this, I built this roof here, and I kind of like this structure that's kind of forming, so I, you know, I wanted to get a ladder up to get to the roof, so I, and so I had to build a little platform, and I was like, that looks really nice. Um, so I did the same on this side, and it kind of has a really neat look, you know, I do plan on building out, you know, making this kind of like its own building slash house. We've got a friend. Uh, but I haven't really figured out exactly what I'm going to do on the edges. And I mean, this here isn't finalized. Uh, I may do stone. I may do something, you know, a wool color. Who knows? You know, I'm not really at the point where I can build um, anything for looks yet. <laughs> so... So yeah, I think that, you know, once I get to the point where, you know, I have enough resources to do whatever I want, possibly different types of trees and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to start, you know, prettifying this. Uh, and then, again, I'm going to, eventually, once I can 
afford multiple types of dirt. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Almost there. Um, when eventually, once I get, you know, more, more dirt, I, I'm going to expand it this way. I'm going to expand it that way and possibly back because um, I'm going to need uh, dark wood for sure. I'm going to need some birch wood. I'm going to need some, um, you know, rainforest wood. So, all right. So let's take a look. You know, this is overflowing. This hasn't happened yet. I've never had this many moths where I had skeletons pushing. So, look at that. I mean, it's just, it, that is really nice. Eight, two, so that was about ten. I didn't really look at the numbers. I'll probably have to look back at the, uh, the replay, but, you know, those are really good rates. You know, even, even just adding that one level, you know, which again, it pushes that, that reach back. Uh, as far as where we can uh, hold, and then, or sorry, it, it pushes the reach back as far as, you know, how far they can spawn, uh, and it just gives more surface area for things to spawn, so, so that's dangerous. <laughs> uh, um, the only thing that I have not been able to do uh, is, as I build this higher, and again, I'm glad that I was able to get this episode out. But as I build this higher, uh, mobs are going to actually die every time they hit. So right now, with these two levels, they're like on the cusp. So some live, some don't. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, how many are coming from which level. But I know that the ones that are coming from the second level have a higher chance of dying. Well, they, well, they do die. So I'm going to want to put a, um, a piece of vine somewhere, or right at the neck there. So right one below where the this level here falls it's kind of like a stop um, and that will allow all of the mobs that are falling to hit the vines slow down enough and then fall so that I can completely use them as a mob file so let's see yeah so that's gonna be it uh, if you like this episode you liked you know the building of the uh, the mob farm and and where we're headed uh, please leave a like uh, leave me a comment see you know if there's anything that you guys think that's you know more efficient or any comments let me know uh, also uh, please subscribe so again if you uh, like the videos and you want to see more like this then just hit the button right at the top right there uh, I'm gonna have it as an annotation which I've gotten used to using those. Uh, so hit that button, and then that'll bring you over to subscribe to my channel so you'll get all the updates as far as when new episodes comes out. Uh, and again, you can follow me at, uh, at, at on Twitter, at, at RankQuestLP, for other updates. So if you're not on and you get Twitter on your phone, you can see exactly when I post up updates. So again, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Here we go!